and lift off. 60 satellites launch into space on Elon Musk's reusable rocket Falcon 9. It's part of Starlink, a constellation of low orbit satellites from SpaceX promising high speed internet connection to remote locations around the world. About 1,000 have been deployed. The goal is for that to grow to more than 40,000. If you imagine the problems we have with space debris and space junk already, that is just adding to it at a rate that we can't keep up. We can't keep up with the risk that creates. SpaceX now owns about one third of all active satellites and more satellites means greater potential for collision. Millions of pieces of so-called space junk are already in orbit, some as small as a fleck of paint, but capable of damaging a spacecraft. If we want to have human exploration of the solar system, we need to make sure we're looking after the, the near-Earth environment before we start going towards um, other planets. Australian researchers are developing software to manage traffic in space, aimed at reducing the risk of collisions. The reality is there's no policeman up in space, there's no traffic rules. So at the moment it's a bit, um, it's like a free-for-all. Customers are signing up to Starlink, but initial consumer costs are expensive and similar projects have previously failed. Another issue is what the low orbit satellites could mean for astronomers. Some warn they will fundamentally change the sky's appearance for stargazers, potentially limiting scientific discoveries. Orbiting closer to Earth, they're brighter and more visible, blocking astronomers' views, a problem SpaceX is trying to solve. Amazon and OneWeb have similar satellite plans, as well as China, prompting calls for tighter regulation of space. The biggest challenge is how do we regulate to make sure that that commercial need doesn't outweigh our, our, our global interest in the global commons of space. Nearly half the world's population doesn't have access to the internet. SpaceX is hoping its constellation of satellites will be part of the solution to connecting the globe. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Canberra.